There are a lot of different concepts involved with environmentally friendly cleaning. Um, one of them is to start out using something that is safe in the environment. Uh, no phosphates and no you know, harsh chemicals that are going to hurt the environment. You don't want to use any spot cleaning chemicals without consulting the homeowner that might be a little more harsh. Some, sometimes you can't help it, but use something or at least um, use it temporarily and then rinse it out. But uh, for the most part, using environmentally friendly chemicals in the past has meant either high cost or not very good results. And really, we've, we're at a point where we've overcome that and we can get great results with environmentally friendly chemicals. The other thing that's really important and perhaps more important to the homeowner is your personal environment. And in order to, to reduce the chemicals that are left behind in your home, you have to understand the chemistry so that you can neutralize any cleaning agents. So that way, environmentally friendly or not, if I don't leave anything behind in your home, then that's a good indoor air quality environment for you. You can dramatically change your indoor air quality by leaving behind a chemical residue. I think we've all used something strong in a bathroom or an oven cleaner, and oh my gosh, you can wipe out the whole house with that. Uh, we don't use any heavy fragrances. There's no real strong odor. We, a lot of times when we're done, people will come in and say, wow, it has that new carpet smell because we've gotten rid of all of those odors and we've left it squeaky clean.